Okay, so what exactly is a professional photographer? Should we differentiate out an amateur photographer from a professional? Yes, obviously so. But what about a professional photographer from an expert photographer? I've seen this comment a lot lately, and I've noticed there's a few threads on it on various websites. Statements that have been made that when a professional earns the majority of their income from a particular endeavor, they're a professional such as the case of a professional photographer. That's not the case. That means they're a working photographer, meaning they're making the majority of their income from photography. It doesn't mean they have, you know, a damn clue about either composition or lighting, lighting ratios, light manipulation. Nuances here. Connotation versus denotation. Amateur photographer. Someone who does it for the love of it. Someone who does it as a as a hobby, they may make a little bit money a little bit of money on the side doing it, but you know it's not their major source of income. They may not be that good at it. Professional photographer. What is a professional photographer? That is someone that is exactly like a hooker. Yeah, a call girl. They sell themselves. They sell their skills or lack thereof um, for money. Someone could be doing stupid ass headshots at a high school or uh, you know, taking thousands of pictures of rugrats or you mean like a Sears photographer, like the models, modeling uh, uh, illumination and the studio strobes never move and it's just the same, 45 degrees and 45 degrees. That doesn't mean a person has any skills. That means they've been taught how to do something and they do it and they know like 12 a set, there's a lot of places in America, uh, especially back in the day. Now that everybody has a damn camera and they do it themselves and take selfies. Back in the day they were given, you know, two week tutelage on like, these are the 12 poses, like pay attention to this, have them do that, you know, watch for this, watch for that. That, prefer that person is denotatively a professional photographer. That doesn't mean they have any damn skills. It doesn't mean anything. Hmm, professional. All doctors, for example, are medical professionals. If they have a degree um, uh, from some university saying that uh, they're a licensed medical professional. Yeah, somehow that doesn't mean shit, since the third leading cause of death are frigging doctors. Doctors have killed more people than... Light and oh God, you just count off the countless things that people are afraid of dying from, and doctors have killed more than all of those things combined. Third leading cause of death. Medical professional. You know what the word professional means? It doesn't mean shit. So, professional photographer. A lot of people said that attitude counts for a lot. It doesn't. Attitude doesn't count for shit. It does if you want to make a lot of money, because you can actually get a lot further by being an idiot and kissing ass than you can by being a true expert at something, but being grumpy or mean or, you know. Some of the smartest and wisest people um, that I've ever met are uh, they're not necessarily rude, but they don't want to be bothered, they don't want to be screwed with, they'd rather tell you to piss off. I mean, one example is like um, Eric Dollard has written a few books. He's an expert in electrical theory. He doesn't want to be bothered. He doesn't. Like, you give the guy a $1,000, and uh, it's like, you know, here you go. He says, for your equipment. He's like, he doesn't want to be bothered. It's like, that's great, that's fine, now leave me the fuck alone. Attitude doesn't count for shit. It doesn't have anything to do with professionalism. Everybody thinks that attitude means that... Uh, I keep seeing this comment associated with professional photography. Since it is a people-associated skill, especially if you're a portrait photographer, obviously, you know, you can get by on about that much knowledge if you have like a thousand charisma points or if you kiss people's ass or uh, if you're really schmoozing up to somebody. You know, you could be one of the best photographers in the world, but if you're a rude asshole, you won't get very far. So attitude, unfortunately, because humans are stupid. Yeah, I said that. Humans are stupid, and they're superficial, and they're dumb. And uh, professionalism and expertise doesn't matter that much to them. It's like, hi, how are you doing? Oh my god, you got a great haircut. You'll be perfect for this. And that sort of stuff, I mean, it goes a thousand miles. You, you, know, you ever heard the old saying, fake it until you make it? Some people have that native ability and they never have to develop any skills. It's kind of like a pretty woman. 
um, attitude is exactly like a really beautiful woman that's able to skate through life. She never has to think. She never has to do anything. It's like whatever she wants, someone buys it for her. It's like, oh, will you buy me that diamond ring? You know, you buy. It's like you can get away with anything. I'm not actually making fun of women saying this, but you and I both know that the more gorgeous a woman is, you know, the more they can skate through life. I mean, they can totally just turn off their brain, just click. People will just do anything for them. And the same thing is true with attitude. You could have no skills, but you could make it as a professional photographer with about that much skills, but like a thousand charisma points. Attitude doesn't amount for anything. It does, but ultimately it does not. Novice photographer versus expert photographer. That's what people are really trying to talk about, but they're not smart enough to talk about that. They're saying, what defines a professional photographer? What defines a, a medical professional? Someone with a, uh, you know, a doctorate degree. It's like, well, that person's a doctor. Yeah, you know what? That doesn't mean shit because, you know, my Uncle Bob was killed by, you know, doctor so-and-so. You know, third leading cause of death is a medical professional. Third leading cause of death, right after cancer and heart disease. Medical professionals, yeah, killing people. Third leading cause of freaking death is a medical professional. Professional photographer, yeah. Yeah, novice photographer. Everybody knows that a novice photographer is. That would be somebody like a Kardashian with an iPhone, you know. Somebody takes iPhone pictures, likes taking pictures. Little point and shoot, goes around. Uh, you're on vacation, someone taking pictures of everything, looks like a snapshot, novice photographer. Expert photographer. Expert in composition and light manipulation. It could either be learned or it could be native and naturally intuited. You know, you know how some people naturally have a skills to something without any training. They're able to actually see the light and they actually see things differently. You know, their brain is totally working. I mean, they could be like some sort of strange savant that basically, you know, doesn't even communicate with the outside world, but they can sit down there with a piano that they basically never laid their hands on before and just, you know, pound out a, a symphony. It's like, wow, you know, that person's never touched a piano except for like a dozen times, and here they are, they're like a, a hardcore professional. We all know that's the case. So we're talking about amateur photographer versus professional, but we really should be talking about novice photographer versus uh, expert photographer. An expert photographer is someone who has already taken the shot. This, you know, this lump of jello between your ears has already taken the shot in his or her mind, and the only thing that they're doing after that is setting up the equipment to make develop in the camera whether that's film or digital, doesn't make any difference. Make develop in the camera what has already been taken in their mind. They see something. Okay, they're not seeing with their eyes. They see something in their head. And then they make it manifest through the camera. That is what a real photographer is. That is an expert photographer. I'm not talking about a uh, amateur photographer. I'm not talking about a professional photographer. I'm not talking about a novice photographer. I'm talking about an expert photographer. Someone that sees it here makes it manifest, or can look at any, something really boring, something else that nobody would ever take a picture of, and they have already thought of something, a way to take a picture, a create a picture, not take a picture, but actually make a picture. Create or make a picture, you know the distinction I'm actually getting to. Make something manifest that nobody else could ever see. It's like, oh my god, that is like the most boring picture in the world over there, you know? I would never take a picture of that. And the expert photographer is like, you know what? I see something awesome, but I don't see it with my eyes. I see it with my fucking brain. They see it. It's like if I just put a light over there, or if I set my exposure this way, I can make, and everybody else will be like, oh, wow, I never saw that. It's like, you're right. Because you were looking with these two things in the front of your head instead of this lump of jello that sits between your ears. Okay? Professional photographer works with mainly with their eyeballs. Expert photographer mainly works with their brain. The picture starts here. And then they make it manifest. It's like, I got an idea. Now I'm going to make it manifest with my gear, with my lighting equipment. That's an expert photographer. Okay? Professional photographer is just a hooker. A prostitute. You know, they're selling their body. Well, in this case, they're selling their skills. And you don't have to have that much skills. You can make it as a professional photographer. If I were to give you one week, even five days of training, if I gave someone five or six days of training, 
As long as they had sufficient people skills, like, hi, how you doing tonight? It's so awesome to see, you know, that sort of schmoozing bullshit. Because people are stupid, and they think that is really important, you know. There are a lot of people that do that in life. They don't have any skills, but they're just awesome. Kind of like a really beautiful woman. It's like, wow, man, she's I'll just do anything, you know. Like, can I buy your dinner, ma'am? Oh, yeah, absolutely, that'd be awesome. You know, can I... <laughs> There's some people that don't have to do anything in life, you know. You could either be really beautiful or you could have really awesome people skills and like a lot of charisma points. And, uh, you know, you could just skate. You could skate. It's like I'm a working professional photographer. They don't have any skills or they got about that much skills, but they've got a lot of people skills. There are a lot of politicians that are like that. They have no skills, no training, no aptitude to be able to do something, but by God, they can really impress people with the way they talk. We call that charisma. I call it schmoozing. Um, yeah, flim flam, you know, like used car salesmen. They have those really good used car salesmen. Oh, hi, how are you doing? You would look awesome in this truck. You would look like 20 years younger if you bought this truck. You know, yeah, this is, you know, that sort of crap. It's a professional photographer. I don't give a shit. Who is a professional? I only give a damn about who is an expert or not. Okay? And an expert has nothing to do with your attitude. Attitude doesn't count for shit. The only thing that attitude counts for is some people that are not very smart. And it's like, wow, I'm really impressed by your attitude. I don't care if you got any skills or not. I just love your attitude. People that think that way, and most people do think that way, they're lemmings. I would rather have someone do a shot that is a rude, sh you know, nobody likes rude people, right? But I would still, if someone's got the skills, it's like that person is not making it on their attitude. They're making it because they have got the skills, you know? People aren't smart enough to...